I think this is the perfect question for some kind of entry ML interview. I will shortly talk about differences, about similarities and how to smoothly convert one type to the other type. In this simple script I created one tensor and one array. Let's run the code. At the first glance they look quite similar, but the biggest difference under the hood is that NumPy does not support GPU acceleration. If I need to do some heavy computations I can easily set this tensor to operate in GPU mode, it would be something like CUDA. I can't run that because I don't have GPU on my PC, but it's not possible to specify some kind of device in the NumPy API. PyTorch also provides a feature called Autograd, uh, which automatically computes gradients for tensor operations. In other words, tensors are optimized for deep learning applications, for example, neural network training, which requires long, heavy and parallel computations. And NumPy is often used for more general purpose computing, perfect for some quick uh, biological or chemical simulations. Data processing alongside with Pandas, NumPy is probably one of the most popular libraries out there. Okay, how to convert tensor to NumPy array? I just have to call .numpy. To make sure I can check the type of this variable. And it's correct, numpy array. But let's say my tensor has requires grad set to true, then it needs this value to be floats. And now this type of conversion is not possible. In this case, we need just to set force true. Be aware that gradient of this tensor will be lost. But values itself were converted without any problems. Conversion from array to tensor is also very simple. You just have to call torch dot from numpy and pass the numpy array as an argument. Torch API is very powerful and it allows you to smoothly work with different popular data types. Of course under the hood there are plenty of differences between tensor and array but today I spoke only about uh, the most important ones. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.